after Phillips. Yes. yes. Let's give them a big round of applause as they come up. Bullets and Kleenex. Bullets and Kleenex are related by no correlation yet when shots ring out there I pay with blood payments or crip sums. But if you reach for that piece, you might get beat in the street, son. There is no proposition. You're the opposition. With or without that piece, son, I could dip. Say peace, one love, but that really wouldn't mean nothing because if all you know is pole packing, soul snatching, and paddy wagons, you swimming without a life jacket. In other words, you lacking while it's cracking, but how can I talk? I'm from Chatham. Everybody in my life was toting ratchets, but they told me to carry on because I'm the only thing that's cracking and they see that. But I understand that every hood can't be that. And just because we surrounded by it doesn't mean we have to be that. We African Americans, but they only see black. Our melanated souls make their old bitter bones crack. They drug us from our country and now they want us to flee back. Why we gotta get down? Why we gotta get back? Why your hand on your gun? He finna shoot cause we black. I'm stuck between put the guns down and blow them all down. I'm afraid I haven't found a solution for bullets and Kleenex, maybe peace. Two weeks later, Sandra Bland. The devil smacked my hand and said, sight, try again, maybe unity. Two weeks later, it happened again. A boy named Dylan premeditated his killings, let his Uzi turn black saints into white souls in a matter of minutes just for a sense of Aryan cleansing. What is this? I'm quite tempted to know how. Over and over, time and time again, I tried to better myself, but my concoction soon never blend. So now, pick a side. Bullets. A Kleenex. Bullets let you rage for every hole of stress through his V-neck turning his white tea burgundy. And Kleenex, Kleenex, you'll spend your whole life hoping that you won't be next. Hope it because you're scared to pray, because every time you think you're safe, something gets you anyway. Bullets into my face. Kleenex cleared my mother's eyes. I found a correlation, but I failed to survive. I don't know about you all, but as a kid, the only game that could get me moving really was cops and robbers. It was, I don't know, some about, you know, getting your perp. But as we grew up, that narrative kind of changed, didn't it? Our group chose Robin Robinson's challenge, which was to create a process in which youth and uh, law enforcement create a positive relationship to better our community. We go to school in Bronzeville, which was first named Darkie Town and has the highest level of violence. Now, unless you're trying to be a bank robber when you grow up, chances are you're gonna encounter law enforcement through traffic stops, the most common reason for law enforcement encounters. Now, if driver's ed has been statistically proven to reduce crashes and traffic violations among new drivers, then why wouldn't it increase the forceful encounters with police that uh, black minorities often suffer? Oh. Okay. Um, in, 20, in January of 2017, legislation was passed that um, mandates that, uh, that, um, uh, you got it, bro. You that, um, got it. drivers, that, um, students, that students receive, um, students receive, students receive training on, um, Police interactions um, as it, as during the driver's ed course, um, but this but this law is only mandated for um, drivers, not public schools. The bridge is an effort to standardize the knowledge youth are, have regarding their rights and the responsibilities of law enforcement. How it works. We want to amend the policy number PA99720 to mandate training on law enforcement interactions in public school driver's education courses. As a part of the driver's education curriculum, students will receive instruction to help understand the role and responsibility of an officer during a traffic stop. Provide instruction on youth and law enforcement relationships in a way that is fun, interactive, relatable through the Bridge Initiative curriculum. We knew that it was critical to have resources for this project. So we went to different communities. We went to the Rainbow Push Coalition, speak with Reverend Jesse Jackson. We, we talked with Illinois, Illinois Legislative Black Caucus Foundation, women's, women who research and help for us. 
And then we also met with a Chicago police officer that sent us through scenarios and relationships between youth and black, youth and black males. Addressing the larger issues. By first mandating the law in Illinois that youth in public schools receive training on how to appropriately interact with law enforcement during a traffic stop, we hope other progressive states will enforce the change as well. Like math or science, we believe appropriate behaviors must be taught. The bridge curriculum empowers youth by teaching them their rights and instruct them on how to diffuse and de-escalate tense interactions between law enforcement officers. Time is up. Let's give them a big round of All right, so we have three minutes for Q&A. Okay. How was the bridge curriculum developed? Um, well, we researched um, exactly what we, well, first we wanted to educate ourselves on um, traffic stops and what rights we have, how police conduct traffic stops and so forth. So we researched traffic stops in depth and then based on a survey that we sent to uh, Young Women's Academy and a survey we, set, uh, we uh, distributed amongst ourselves in Urban Prep Bronzeville, based on what people did and did not know, we developed our curriculum from there. And we also, um, we also developed a curriculum based on the input from the police officer that Mr. Foster described and based on what we knew from our experiences we would need to know when we became drivers. What is the current status of your efforts to have the law changed? Well, we, uh, the Illinois Legislative Black Caucus has actually there, we don't have an exact date, but they have our proposal and they're taking it to session. Have you thought about then extending this right to training for police officers and how to work with members of the community that they're not necessarily familiar with? Uh, we have considered that. Uh, you wanna answer that question? Uh, well, uh, part of, um, I guess the difficulty in creating this and answering this challenge was being innovative. Because as far as on the law enforcement side, there are already certain policies uh, in place that sort of mandate training for police officers that will ultimately achieve the impact of bettering relationships between youth and law enforcement. But to answer your question directly, yes, we have considered extending this to the law enforcement side as well. Can you talk a little bit about the uh, team dynamic issues that you guys had during the process? So I can talk about that. So in the beginning, you know, you know, we've known each other for four years plus. All of us are seniors, and except for Mr. Mr. Brown, he's a junior, but we've known him pretty well as well. So going into the to the to this challenge, we knew basically how we were characteristically and how we could work well and what we do best in. So we were able to basically give each person their roles as in what they can do well in terms of bring to the table for the team, and we were just able to work it out, you know. In terms, of the, in terms of the curriculum that you've developed, has it been piloted yet? So has it actually been administered in any classes? And if so, what was the outcome? Um, yes, it has. So we did, we took one of our sample lessons, which was entitled Incognito. And what we did is we taught it in a driver's ed session. So that was one of the, one of the three of our lessons. So we got, uh, I'm, I'm upset we don't have any pictures because we took pictures, but we got a pretty positive response from that. And that lesson was to show youth how to kind of avoid traffic stops. So like how not to do the flashy things that will bring the police to you. We have five seconds, so I guess there's no more time for questions. Let's give them a great big round of applause.